guys, it's me, it's Rayleigh from down in her little dungeon. I thought I'd pop on and do a quick tutorial on how I made this. If you, um, anybody watched this video, um, you will see a flip through of this envelope journal for no reason. It's just there. <laughs> Um, no particular rhyme or reason. Um, I've obviously just turned it into some kind of an art journal um, where I scribble and paint and do whatever in. Um, so I thought I would pop on and show you how I did it. If you would like to craft along with me, uh, you can pause your video, you can go and grab yourself some envelopes. Um, and let's do it. Now before I start, this little flap at the front was actually a mistake. When I cut, when I stuck on my painting papers on the outside of the cardboard, um, I forgot to trim and um, yeah, so I just left it like that. <clears throat> so we're not going to have a flap today, it's just going to be a normal journal. So let's get started. I've already pre-done this. It is a little bit longer, but I will keep that bit that we cut off. And um, that can be used as a pocket or a, a tuck spot or a belly band or something within the journal. So um, it's just a cardboard cereal box that I have pre-cut to the size of my envelopes, um, which I have here. And so, Let's just, and these envelopes range from security envelopes to junk, you know, junk mail envelopes to my mother's um, bowls envelopes that they get their money in. So there's a nice little variety in here. Um, so yeah, so I've cut that, as you can see, to the size of that. And I think the spine's about two um, centimetres or two and a half centimetres. Let's have a look. Um, two and a half. So it's two and a half centimetres, the spine, and I did have to trim down the envelopes on either side because the cereal box wasn't quite wide enough. Um, here's some here that I had done that I haven't cut as yet. And as you can see, there's a good, oh, I don't know, a centimetre difference here. Um, so I've kind of cut a little bit off each end um, to make it the right size so now I just want to try and pick a cover um, these are jelly prints um, painting papers that I've had left over so that will become um, the cover for this journal so I've got three here um, I actually like this blue one and it's just done on deli paper as you can see I don't know what sort of meat it was that I, that I bought um, so it's just recycled paper so we might use this so let me just quickly cut this down a little bit just to make life easier yeah I wanted to do this video earlier today um, but I've had a bit of a headache uh, I went to bed with a headache last night woke up with one this morning <clears throat> it's um, the heat does not help it's so hot uh, and drop my scissors. And my charming cat Chadwick, he decided to jump up on the table as I was taking the memory card out of my camera. Um, we've had no internet, or was well, well, since yesterday morning, and it's finally come back on this afternoon. And I was just um, going to d d take something off my memory card and the cat decided to jump up on the bench and knock everything flying, my card included, I could not find it. So after a tidy up of my desk and hunting around I finally found the card. So I'm able to do this. Now this here is just a mixture, it's not um, tropical fish flakes, it's a um, container that I've made a mixture of wood glue and water. Uh, so I will be using this to stick down the cover. So, which do we want the front? Now I'll use this one as the front. 
Alright, so that is, I'll just give that a bit of a crease so I know where the spine is. Alright, so let's do this. Just give it a paint. But it just saves wasting my Mod Podge, I mean, because Mod Podge is not, um, oh, it's not overly expensive, but it gets expensive when you've got to buy it all the time. So my covers, I always use um, a mixture of wood glue. Sometimes I just use basic, like just wood glue on its own. But for paper, um, a bit of water works well. So let's stick this. On there, Lake Sue. Turn it over. So yeah, so this would just be one of my little journals for no reason. Um, it will get used eventually, no doubt. A brayer. I wasn't not over fussed on this brayer. I don't use it for my jelly printing anymore because it's lopsided. This is really like a sharp edge here, and as you're moving your brayer across your paints or anything, it leaves a groove in the in the plate. So yeah, I not over keen on that brayer. Why aren't you sticking? Right. I think it's just drying before it gets a chance to do anything. Why isn't it that? Because it is very hot here today. Again, I'm pretty sure they said it was in the 40s. I haven't looked, to be honest. I just I don't want to look. And this glue, it just oozes out. Okay, let's get these corners. All right. There we go. So I shall leave that aside to dry. All right. I'll leave that aside to dry, and we'll get these envelopes sorted. Now I have got. Um, how many envelopes do I have here? I like to alternate mine, so maybe window up here, blank page. So this will be the front page of this. Um, so we have window, the back of an envelope, window, back of an envelope. So that's how I like to have mine, but you can lay yours any way you choose. And I think there's seven in here. One, two, three. This one there was seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there's six envelopes that I'm going to put in per signature. Let's have a look at this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's got seven. That one's got six. We're on a roll. Okay, let's take these off. Now, with these envelopes, I will leave these to open for you. Um, let me grab my old trusty. Um, I've had this for years. I bought it from Gold Coast. Um, now, the little envelope. So, we just um, cut down the sides and open that up like so. Um, I shall do this one to show you. I've already pre-cut that because I had to cut a bit off. Um, so I might have that to all towards. Now I don't want it at the front. Uh, I might have that there. So that way we can have a fold out piece in there. So this can be the middle. Bear with me guys, I'm not that great at tutorials. 
Okay, let's have a quick look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need one more for the front of this. Not that one. It's either that or just make, yeah, six and seven. Doesn't matter. Does or not matter. Okay, so let me grab my trusty book here if I can find this. Now I use this to put my holes in. As you can tell, it's just another book that I um, paint in. But I use it for um, try and find my needles and my pokey tool. And as usual, I'm very unorganized. Okay, so let's put our holes in. I have already done a template to fit and I have marked it T for top. So that way I know that this will be the top of each signature. Okay, let me just put that around without hitting the tripod. Try and dropping everything today. Alright. Not whether you can see. But I'm just lining up my templates here. And I'm poking my holes in each hole that I've made. So you can space your holes any way you like. I have put quite a few holes in here because um, I want a few stitches. Okay, let's see if that's gone all the way through without stabbing myself. So just be careful that you don't stab yourself, guys. <laughs> because um, I have done it heaps of heaps of times. Yeah, there we go. It's hard to see where the holes are. But you can feel where you've stabbed them as you go along. Okay, I think I've got all of those ones. Okay, so let's stick this back together with... And I've dropped half of these on the floor, but that's okay. I'll pick them up. Okay, so that just holds the signatures together so we can sew them. Um, let's have a look. You think I would have already pre-done one of these holes, wouldn't you? Okay. So which is the top? Which one am I going to have as the top? Oh, there we go. I might make that the top. Alright. So we'll wind this up in the crease. Stab. Right through your envelopes. So there's that one. And last but not least is this one here. So this one will be the front. Okay, so let's line those up. Just thought this might help 
newcomers to journaling and show them how I do this one. There's many tutorials out there. Um, a lot of people do them a lot easier than me. Um, but this is how I do mine. So, let's get rid of that. And I need another one of these. And because I've dropped so many, I'll just get another one out of here. My little um, jar of paper clips. Alrighty. Put that away. Put this away. Okay. So let's check this. Um, cover out and see what's happening. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. So before I get too carried away, let me just measure. I'll trim that off. So I trim that there, trim that across there. That's got to be cut. Let's trim that. So I'll just grab my cutter. Hopefully it will go through this without ripping a hole in it. Okay, and I'll get my envelope. And I'll just give it a quick measure well I'm, I'm not a measurer guys as you can tell I'm a yeah I'm one of these ones who just wing it <laughs> I do I'm shocking absolutely shocking okay so if you want ever a perfect journey whoa sorry knock the tripod there we go sorry guys so if you ever want to buy a journal from me um, please be aware that it won't be perfect it's handmade and that's <laughs> that's just the way it goes okay so let's see if I can do this without damaging mm. no that's not going to work cut is not going to work I'm not going to cut it I'm not going to cut it Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to go over to my big guillotine and I shall be back. I'm still here, still here. And again, I've messed up. As you can tell, not a perfect journal. Again, all right. So I've cut, <laughs> I've cut my paper off, and it should have a flap on it, so I can um, fold over. But it's okay. We'll we can work with that. We can work with that. All right. I'll use this stuff. It's not Fabri-Tech, it's some um, fabric, fabric fix or something or other, and, and it just comes out. This heat, everything just continuously oozes. It's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Oh, bring on winter, bring on winter. All right, so let's put that up. There, fold this over. Look at that dry. Oh, man. Alrighty. Yeah. 
should have done one at a time. So on the inside of the covers, there will be um, there we go. Look at that. We'll give that a fix up at a later date. Like I said, it's just so hot; it, everything's just drying instantly. Um, so I shall fix all that up. can be as rough as tumble as you want. It's your journal. Um, Alright. So, front. Yeah, I like that as the front. Alrighty, so where's our template again? What did I do with it? I know I had it. I had it. I had it. Oh. It's one of those days, guys. It's one of those days. I'm telling you, I'm just oh, I'm so over today. I had this template and I put it over here, and now I can't find it. Oh, man. There it is. All right, so we've got three signatures, so we need three lots of holes. I've done one middle section here. So let's just um, so we need two and a half. So if we use that bit, top just making sure I've got the right yep. so I'm gonna have to turn it this way just so I can see the holes okay like I said, sorry, it'll drag on and on. Maybe I should do part two. Okay, so now we've done the signatures, we've done the cover. Next video, I shall pop on and show you how to sew them all in because my battery's going flat and my camera's going to cut out. Okay, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for watching my shambles of a tutorial. Um, and I shall catch us in the next video. Bye.